Hi everyone, welcome you all. In the today's video, we are going to see how we can upload files in Cypress. And to do this, we need to install one package called Cypress file upload package. And by taking help of that package, we will be able to achieve file upload scenario. So first of all, let's see how we can download and install Cypress file upload package. So for that, we need to search for uh, file upload, Cypress file upload. And this is a, a developed on, on top of pa node package manager. So we can just download this and then uh, uh, we will be able to install and we can work with that. So this is Cypress uh, file upload package and we can just click on explore. And I can see. Okay, so let's directly go to the documentation. Okay, so this is their documentation they have given GitHub. So this is the command npm install. Uh, if and if and save if and dev cypress file upload so once you install this so then we will be able to handle the file upload scenario so let me just install this copy this command and then uh, go to visual studio code editor okay now i'm opening my terminal new terminal and here execute this command npm install if and if and save dev cypress file upload so once it is done, so now we got this package and then we will try to upload the file and we can do this uh, in multiple scenarios. Like we can see first how we can upload single file and then we will see how we can rename the file at the time of uploading. And then we will see how we can uh, upload file uh, using drag and drop option. And then we will see how we can upload multiple files. And finally, we will see how we can automate file upload, which is present inside the shadow DOM. So these are the different scenarios which we are going to see in this video. The first thing, let us see how we can upload single file. So for that, I'm taking the help of this page. Let me open this application. Okay, so if I just go to this here, you can see uh, an option here. So we can click on the choose file, right? So then you will get a window here. We need to browse the file. And this is one option which is available. The other option is we can just drag and drop here. Okay, so first we'll see how we can uh, upload the file by using this option. And then we will see how we can do this through drag and drop. So when you try to inspect this element and in this, you can see an input tag and type equal to file. So whenever we have this type equal to file, then we will directly able to handle by using a file attach command. So which is a method which is available. Okay, let's see how we can do this first. And this is application and copy this and go to vs code editor and let me implement the first it block so i say only and just want to execute only this and before doing this we need to import package just now we have installed cypress uh, file upload package that we need to import at the beginning so i say import uh, the command is we can say in the single quotation cypress cypress file upload so this we need to import Okay, so now let us implement this, how to upload a single file. So first let us visit the page, cy.visit, cy.visit, and this is your application. And then after visiting this application, then let us try to inspect this element. And if I just look at this, this is the element. We no need to browse any file here. So you can just look at here, this is the input option. There is ID type name equal to available. So just directly go to selector hub and get the CSS for that element and go back to VS code editor. Now here I'm getting that element cy.get and this is the element. And here we have a method called attach file, attach file. So this is a method. So in this we can pass whichever file we want to upload. And one more important thing is, so whichever file we are going to upload, so those files we have to first keep inside the fixtures folder. You can see there is a default folder called fixtures. So normally in the fixtures, we will maintain the uh, test data files. So here you can keep all the files because this particular method will read the file or will identify the file only from the fixtures folder. Okay. So whatever file you want to upload, so you need to keep those files inside the fixtures. Now, what I want to do is I have few files which are already created. Now I'm just Open, we need to just keep those files inside the picture. 
So let me keep this file inside the fixture. This is my test one. And this is one file which I'm going to upload. And test2.pdf is another file. Okay, so these two files I'm going to use uh, for uploading. Okay, so now there's a first prerequisite. We need to keep these files inside the fixtures folder. So if you place this some other places or some other location, uh, this method can't be recognized that particular file. Okay, so attach file and directly here you can specify the name of the file whichever you want to upload as a test1.pdf. So this is a command. So get that element dot attach file and specify the file name. And after uploading this, so there is one more option. We need to click on this upload. So then only we'll get the confirmation message. So let us inspect this upload button. And this is the locator of this. Get this locator and then cv.get. This is the element and dot click. So after performing this click, then only the file will be uploaded. Okay, after that, let's wait for a few seconds. It takes some time to upload the file. So what I can do is we can just wait for a few seconds by using Cypress command cy.wait. Let's wait for five seconds. And then next we will do the validation. So what type of validation we do? So as soon as you uh, upload the file, suppose I'm choosing one file here, test one, something like this. Now we got this file. So once you click on upload, so then you will get the confirmation message like this file got uploaded. Now we need to verify this. So let's inspect this element file uploaded. Now this is a CSS for that element. Get this element. Now write the validation point. I say cy dot get and this is a CSS for that element and uh, the single quotation within the single quotation not allowed so you can just keep inside the double quotations and dot and here i put assertion should uh, i can say have have dot text and what is the text we are expecting here is we are expecting file uh, uploaded so this is the exact text should be present all right so this is a validation point so simply we launch our application and then uh, we use one method called attach file and directly you can specify the file name which is already there in the fixtures and this method will automatically get this file and upload it and then once you click on it then after waiting for a few seconds then we can check the file is successfully uploaded or not so this is how we can upload a single file it is direct approach it is not a drag and drop but again if you do drag and drop we need to follow another approach now let us try to execute this code and see how it is going to work. Let me save this first and open the terminal. And in the terminal, I'm launching Cypress application. End to end testing start. Okay, now let us start running the script and file upload. Now we can just look at this, it is started execution. Yeah, perfect. Now you can see file is got uploaded and then my assertion should pass after five seconds. It is waiting and then my assertion is got passed. All right. So this is how we can upload a single file in Cypress. Perfect. So suppose if you want to do drag and drop or before doing drag and drop, I'll show you one more thing. Let's say at the time of uploading a file, I want to rename that. So currently the file name is what test1.pdf. Now at the time of uploading this file, I want to just rename this file. Okay, I just want to rename the file at the time of uploading. So what we can do is let me show you simple, same example. And let us see how at the time of uploading, how we can rename it. So let me remove this only. And here I just want to execute this only block. Okay, so same script. Now this is actual file name, but at the time of uh, uploading this file, I just want to rename the file. Okay, so for that, what you can do is uh, we need to put this file in the curly brace like this. And we need to add one parameter inside the attach file. So what is that parameter is file path. File path colon. And this is the file name. So file path column. This is the file name, comma. And after that, I can say, and one more parameter, file name. File name. And here I say, uh, uh, whatever the name you want to provide for the file at the time of uploading, I can say my file. I can say dot PDF. 
that's it so this is the actual file name so whichever you want to upload this is the actual file name so we can say path is a p capital file path and this is your file name actual file name and at the time of uploading i just want to provide another name called my file dot pdf okay so at the time of uploading this instead of uh, giving this name test one dot pdf it will automatically rename the file and then it will upload okay and after that again we will verify the file is successfully uploaded or not now let us save the file and then uh, see the execution okay let me rerun the file once it is saved we'll save it let me save the file once again and then go back and see the execution And it is basically saying uh, type command. Okay, so I think we have done some mistake. It is only, all right. Okay, so let's try to execute one more time. Save and see the execution. So we can see this time it is successfully uploaded and the file name is what? myfile.pdf. So I have just renamed this at the time of uploading the file. So that name is got myfile.pdf. So this is also successfully executed. So whatever file we are going to upload at the runtime, we can change the name or we can rename the file name. So that option is available. So we need to pass uh, two parameters. One is file path, actual file name of the file, comma, and file name. So whatever file name we want to provide for that particular file, we can specify here. And this particular part will attach the file after renaming the file. And rest of the thing again, same. Okay. So this is how we can upload the file. Uh, at the time of uploading the file, we can rename it. Now, so let us see one more scenario. Suppose uh, I want to upload the file through drag and drop. Okay, instead of attaching the file directly, I want to perform the drag and drop. Okay, so how we can at upload the file uh, using drag and drop option. And to do this, uh, we get, again do the same thing, but we need to additionally pass some parameters in the attached file. Okay, because we are doing the drag and drop here. Okay, so uh, let me just copy the same stuff again. And the same application uh, is also having the option to drag and drop. So instead of this uh, choose file, this time I will try to drag and drop the file. So let's keep the files like this and whatever, whatever file you want to just upload and you can keep that in the desktop like this and just drag and drop like this. So now here you can see the file name is displayed and then once you click on upload, then uh, it should give some message, but there is a, some problem with the website. So just we can verify after uh, dragging the file and just you can verify that file is got attached here or not. This we can validate, okay? Now this is possible only through drag and drop, right? So let's see how we can do this. Uh, let's go to the VS Code Editor and now, so file upload using drag and drop. Again, I'm taking the same application. Now this time, uh, I just try to remove this part. Okay, so in this application, the first thing is what we need to uh, identify this element. So this part here, we need to perform the drag and drop, right? So let's try to inspect this drag and drop element. And if I just look at this, there is an ID available. And this is exactly pointing to that box drag and drop. So let's get this element and identify that get that element cy.get and this is the element now here also we use a method called attach file okay attach file and the file name which file we want to attach i say i want it as test1.pdf and you can upload any type of files depends on the how what kind of files it is supported in application so test1 so which is already there my in features folder so i say specify the file so if you leave the command till here it cannot directly upload the file because this option is in using drag and drop. Okay, so attach file. So here we need to pass uh, one additional parameter because this file we want to attach only through drag and drop. So you can say in attach file, there is one parameter we have to pass comma. In the curly braces, you can specify subject type. Subject type. And the subject type is what? In the single quotation, you can say drag and n drop drag and drop and then close it so where we can find these options again we need to refer their official documentation 
in their official documentation they provided everything how we can use you can simply say cypress file upload if i just go to their uh, package and you will notice that actually you can just go to their git repository and then see the examples whatever they have given so you can just see suppose if you want to do drag and drop right so we need to pass this part so subject type is drag iphone n and iphone drop so this additional parameter we have to pass along with the file name so then it will perform the drag and drop option okay now let's see how we can do this so i have identified this element attach the file and along with the file we pass this another additional parameter drag and drop okay and once it is done then close the command so this particular command will upload the file using drag and drop option so after that let's wait for a few seconds here cy dot wait cy dot wait let's wait for five seconds and after that let us try to validate so for example my file is got uploaded here i'm trying to drag and drop a file so for example uh, i'm trying to drag and drop here now i want to validate this particular file name exactly so to validate this let us try to identify this so this particular uh, test1.pdf is present here right so this text we need to validate actually and uh, again if you look at this is this is a, a css which is actually given so this is actually pointing to the span right so you can just get it this directly or you can get this uh, CSS directly from the Cypress app. So that is also directly providing it. Suppose if you want to get this, uh, what I can do is let us run the script till here and then we will capture this. So I just want to run only this one. Let me go to the file and save. Now you can see the execution. Yeah, now you can see the file is successfully uploaded here. Now we want to check whether it is successfully uploaded or not by putting some assertion. So let us inspect this part uh, using cypress inspector now you can see this is a, a locator which is given along with the get now copy this directly and then paste it over here and on top of this we need to apply the assertion so what assertion we can simply apply in dot contains simply you can say dot contains this particular statement contains a test one dot pdf so this is what we am expecting okay so this is how we can put the validation after drag and drop so only one difference when you simply leave the file inside the attached file it will go through a normal process or if you want to do drag and drop we need to additionally pass this parameter subject type in drag and drop then we were verifying the message whether it's uploaded or not okay let's execute the file once again and see the output yeah perfectly it is attached test1.pdf and now it is validating the message. Yeah, perfectly it is validated. My assertion contains got passed and now it is get passed here. Okay. So this is how uh, we can upload the file using drag and drop option. Using drag and drop option. Okay. Suppose uh, I want to upload multiple files. Okay. Sometimes you may have to upload multiple files. So then how we can upload multiple files. So this time I just want to execute this multiple files only. So to upload multiple files, again, we have certain options are available in their documentation. Let me show you that. Again, go to their official documentation, Cypress file upload. And if you just go to this their documentation and they clearly mentioned how we can do that. So if you want to attach multiple files, okay, so you can just go to here drag and drop attaching multiple files so you can just identify the element attach file and whatever files you want to attach then specify all the files in the square bracket by separating comma so if i just look at this example this is first file and this is another file like this you can put multiple files by separating comma and keep everything in the square bracket and this is also same method attach file okay so this is the format which we have to file if you want to attach the multiple files okay now let's go back and uh, see the scenario how we can upload multiple files and for that uh, i'm taking the help of one more application and look at this application and here we have option to upload multiple files you can just click on 
choose files and here whatever files you want to upload just select the, those files like this and then open and then you can see both the files are got attached here so this message you can validate files you selected so this message is appear after uploading all the files okay let's uh, do how we can uh, let's see how we can upload the multiple files okay so copy this url and then let us write a more one more test go to uh, vs code editor and this time i'll say multiple file uploads now let's visit the page cy.visit and specify the url of application okay so as soon as you specify this i want to upload here so we need to identify this choose file so let's refresh the page initially this is the uh, situation now i can just inspect this element and there is an input and type equal to file and id equal to files to upload so this id is also there let's capture this element the files to upload so this is the actual element now capture this element get that element cy dot get and this is the element and inside this we need to attach multiple files so i can say attach file and what are all files you want to attach we need to keep them in the square brackets like this in the square brackets whatever file you want to upload you need to just place those files so now i want to upload test1 and test2.pdfs so my first file is uh, test1.pdf comma second file is test2.pdf this is my second file like this you can just put comma and you can add multiple files this is a same again attached file method and where we specified the two different files and after that let's wait for a few seconds cy dot wait and wait for five seconds and then let us try to do the validation here so after uploading the file so this is a message uh, which we want to validate so files you selected no files are selected as of now so i can just select the uh, two files and i say open now you can say uh, there are two files are here okay so these are the two files uh, we can validate this message you can just inspect this element and if you inspect this element this is actual element and where exactly this element is present if you just look at the css which is giving very lengthy css so what we can do is we can just uh, try to write a, a short CSS for this. And what we can do is let's go and directly execute from Cypress app. Then we capture that one. So let us execute this till here. And then uh, once we capture the element, we will put the validation point. So go to the file and then save. And now automatic and execution is started. Yeah, perfect. Now you can see there are two files got attached here. So now let us try to find this message by using this uh, selector. You can just find, you can also validate test one PDF, test two PDF, whatever you want. I'm selecting this one and this I copied, then go back and then cy dot get the element, cy dot get. And here, this is the element. So this is the element and uh, when you copy this, it will automatically give you cy.get actually. So we don't need to write explicitly cy.get again. So get this element and in this, we are uh, checking something, right? So I can say I should contain text. I'm using here a method called validation contain, contain dot text. And here, what is an actual test we are uh, expecting here is, we are expecting this one. You files you selected now go back and just specify this done so this is a validation point so once we get an element should text contain this so after uploading the file so let's try to execute this and see how it is going to work so multiple files we have uploaded okay now go to the file and again save it and now see the execution now two files got attached now my assertion is got passed here okay so this is how we can also upload multiple files 
uh, using attach file. So which is having multiple flavors actually. So attach file, the same method we are using every time, but the options are different. Okay, so options are different. Different options are available. All right, so this is how we can upload the multiple files. Okay, sometimes your upload file, the option is available in the shadow DOM. Okay, so shadow DOM is basically uh, a sub DOM. Okay, suppose if you open any page, you can find the DOM, right? So document object model inside this, there will be one more DOM. So that's basically called as a uh, sub uh, document object model, we can say. And uh, shadow, which is also called shadow DOM. So the DOM contains another DOM, which is basically called as a shadow DOM. And sometimes the file upload option is present inside the shadow DOM. So then how we can handle this? What are the options are available? So again, if you just go to their uh, documentation, so to handle the shadow DOM options or shadow DOM elements, so they also given uh, some more examples. Let me search for it. Shadow DOM. Okay, so they have also provided uh, some more options to handle the shadow DOM. So let me just find out where exactly it is. Okay, so I think somewhere they have given, I found it somewhere else. Okay, so let's try to use it, how we can handle it in the shadow DOM. So for example, let me take an application where a uh, file upload element is present inside the shadow DOM. Let me use this application. And if I just look at this, this is, the, this is the page. So here the browse is there. So when you click on the browse, it will open the window. So where we can find the, uh, where we can browse the uh, files, uploaded files. Now, if I just inspect this element and see, this is the button actually. So this button, if I just go a little bit up, you can see the shadow root actually. So this is actually shadow DOM. And above this, again, there are some more elements are there. So this particular part, wherever you can see the shadow root, that from there onwards, it is started shadow DOM. So now currently this browse option is present inside the shadow DOM. Okay. Suppose if you try to upload any file like this, after that, you will get some more options. Here you can see the file. So this is also part of the shadow DOM. This element is also part of the shadow DOM. So now currently these two elements are present inside the shadow DOM. So now let us see how we can uh, handle this. Okay, so directly if I use attach method, so that cannot identify this element because this is a part of the shadow DOM. Okay, so let's see how we can uh, handle this. So first of all, uh, let's go to VS Code Editor and file upload shadow DOM option. So first let us visit the page cy.visit and uh, then copy this URL and this is your application. And then, so now this is the element which is present inside the shadow DOM, okay? So first let us inspect this browse element. And this is uh, basically a button and go back to selector hub. And the selector hub is clearly saying is also part of the shadow DOM, okay? So now we need to write proper locator for this. If I just look at this, uh, for this particular button, class attribute is there, right? Smart item name. No, actually, this is not the one. Let me, yeah, this is the one we need to find. Not a button, actually. Inside this, there is an input. So input we need to find. So here you can see class, smart browse input. So this is a class which we need to find, which is there inside the shadow DOM. Okay, now capture this element. And now get this element cy dot get and this is the element okay so this is the element but actually this element is uh, present inside the shadow DOM okay that we will see how we can handle but directly i'm writing the attach method attach file and whichever file i want to attach i'm just specifying the file as a test one dot pdf so normally if the element is not part of your shadow DOM so you can directly specify like this now this element is part of the shadow DOM so in that case, how we can capture that element? So to capture the element inside the shadow DOM, we can pass one more parameter inside the get method. So that parameter is include shadow DOM. This is a one parameter, colon, true. So this particular parameter will automatically 
find this element inside the shadow DOM. We need to separate them by using comma. So this element is present inside the shadow DOM. So this get method will find this element which is present inside the shadow DOM. Okay, this is how we can find and make it as a true. And then attach file. So this particular statement will find this element within the shadow DOM and then try to attach this particular file. And after attaching, let's wait for a few seconds here. Let dot wait 5000 milliseconds and then let's do the validation now. So after uploading, we need to do the validation. Let me just try to upload a file. Now after uploading, you can see these options. Test1.pdf is got uploaded. Now we want to validate this. Again, this element is also part of the shadow DOM. Let's inspect this element, test1. Okay, now you can see uh, there is a, this is a, this is a not actual uh, item, smart, uh, smart item name, right? So you can see class attribute available. Actually, this is not the right element. If I just go back inside this, okay, this is the actual element. So there is a class attribute. So I'm just trying to take this element and I can just place it here, dot element. Now it is finding that element. Now inside this element, the text is present. That is test1.pdf that I'm going to validate. Cy dot get and get this element in this element. So this is the actual element. Again, this element is also part of the shadow DOM. So what we need to do, whenever we want to access the element in the shadow DOM, we need to put the comma curly base. Again, same parameter, include shadow DOM, include shadow DOM, and uh, then uh, true column true so this parameter must be there include uh, shadow dom colon true and this will find that element within the shadow dom and then dot contains contains and what is the value we are expecting here is test one dot pdf right so this is our variation point so include shadow dom colon true so both elements are part of the shadow DOM. So we want to specify this and then we'll get this element from the shadow DOM and then we'll be able to find the elements. Okay, so let's try to execute only this one for now. File upload, it dot only shadow DOM element. Okay, let's go to file, save it and then open the execution part. Now it is trying to launch the application. Now it is got uploaded perfectly fine. Now it is trying to validate. Yeah, perfect. Now you can see the contains the test1.pdf. My validation is got passed. Okay. So this is how we can also uh, try to upload the file and which is present inside the shadow DOM. So totally five different scenarios we have seen. How to upload a single file and uh, how we can rename the file at the time of uploading. And then we have seen how we can upload file through a drag and drop approach. And then we have seen how we can upload multiple files. And finally, we have seen how we can automate file upload, which is present inside the shadow DOM. Okay. So that's all for this video. In the next video, we'll see a few more concepts. Thanks for watching.